It bears emphasizing. I've said the inception of the Constitution in 1993, because legally it started on 17 January 1993. It bears emphasizing that an election is a process, among other things. It includes the demarcation of boundaries, registration of eligible voters, the creation of voters' register, printing of ballot papers, distribution of ballot papers to voting centers, supervision of voting, the casting of votes, counting and progress, processing of the votes, the declaration of the winner, or winners. So far, I've not noticed anything on about of the Electoral Commission's handling of the process. Even though Ghana has come far in consolidating democracy as a way of life, we can and can consider free and fair elections in this country as a matter of course, we cannot take that progress for granted. For this reason, we continue to talk about these things as a way of entrenching those undoubted values we hold dear and warding off potential records of the peace of the nation. We must steadfastly resist the dishonorable deeds of those who, without cause, sow seeds of doubt in the Arbitral Electoral Commission to organize a credible election. We must deplore, jettison, and without any reservation, reject rhetoric which fans the flames of, conduct, of conflict. Freedom is not free, and it is up to us, here and now, to ensure that the gains and triumphs of the past remain intact for, gener for generations of Ghanaians on board. We have come a long way in our struggle to build a Ghanaian society founded on the ideas in the preamble to the Constitution. However, we still have a long way to go.